Hello, welcome to Chrysalis Invictus. I want to first say thank you so much to everybody who has been um, supporting the channel. Uh, I am currently experiencing some technical difficulties, so um, where last week everything was kind of flowing really nicely, this week, um, you know, things may not be coming out at the same time. Um, uh, the Anyway, so just be aware of that. I am trying to get these videos out to you guys, but um, there's been some hiccups. So without further ado, let's jump into pile number one's reading. So pile number one, you're here. Let's see what you have. Butterfly Garden. Um, it may be difficult to ground today. Um, you're sort of lost in your idea, lost in your, um, lost in fits of fancy is what I'm hearing. Fantasy, dreams, sort of like, um, flitting from thing to thing. It may be hard to focus. Things may feel dreamlike. It's a really good day to work with plants for you, actually. Um, so if you do have plants around the house, if you're someone like me who struggles to understand what your house plants need, it might be a good day to go around and kind of figure that out with them. Um, so just sort of sit with them, sort of be like, what is it that you actually need? And maybe even write up a schedule for that. That's something <laughs> really interesting that's coming in. I'm going to read from the book a little bit just to give you more of a message. Curiosity, discovery, small moments in life. A woman holds a blooming flower in her hand as she gazes toward the sky. On her head sits a butterfly, closely, closely examining the purple petals. Enjoying the situation, the woman stands still and quietly soaks in to her surroundings. She does not want to disturb the scene. In her daily life, there are so, there are, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm reading without glasses in the dark. I'm doing my best. Okay. Um, in our daily life, there are so many possible moments that could be precious if we would just take the time to notice them. Be mindful of your surroundings and pay attention. Ask, why is that there? <laughs> then make connections. Small observ observations can lead to great discoveries. Yeah, so this one specifically highlighted um, uh, plants, but... It could be something else for you. So I'm going to get you a language of flowers oracle and then we'll close out this particular reading. I hope it's found you really well. Um, for information on my classes and or to book a personal reading, that's all down below. Okay, so you have white carnation devotion. And it says, be true and pure in thought and deed. I think being true to your daydreams today, being true to that sort of like whimsical feeling or that ungrounded feeling, you know, ground yourself, but also appreciate the lightness that comes with that sort of being. Azalea, temperance. Find balance and be centered. Hmm. Beautiful. All right. So that's what I have for you, pile number one. Thank you so much for joining. I hope this was helpful and take care. Pile number two. Let's take a look at what you have going on. I hope this video finds you well. You have touched the sky. This is 
there's a couple of things that are here today. So you may end up feeling listless or bored or um, like things are sort of pooled and stagnated and that nothing is really happening. Um, the other thing, and this is so funny because it came up in uh, one, but there, there could be a feeling of like daydreaminess or um, detachment or dissociation may be very prevalent today. So just kind of floating away. Um, the advice always with times like that is to ground, but today it's more like to appreciate the space that you're in. So not to try to um, ground yourself to a halt. Um, and remember grounding can happen with um, overeating, overspending, that kind of thing. Um, it's more like if you over-exercising, if you don't feed the floatiness, but don't take it away either to just kind of appreciate this space, appreciate how you're feeling in this space. And maybe some of the things that, because I, right here, she's got this little bird on her shoulder. I feel like there is something, there's messages coming in for you. And if you are, um, if you try to distract yourself, if you feel uncomfortable being ungrounded, um, then this, this is going to, this might feel a little bit uncomfortable in the sense that you might feel lighter than you're used to. But messages are coming in today. Today is a day of messages, including this one. So I'm just going to take a look at the book and see what other messages there might be. So this one is called Touch the Sky. It says, Lost in Thoughts, Isolation, Sanctuary. A young girl with long braids looks down to earth from up in the sky. The small bird on her shoulder keeps her company in her cloud sanctuary. She is holding one of her birds, her braids, <laughs> like a lifeline as if she is expecting somebody to climb up to her. Sometimes we are so overwhelmed by our feelings and sensations we escape into a condition of withdrawal and separation. It is hard for other people to follow us there unless we give them a sign that they are welcome. Okay, so that sign that someone is, someone's coming in with a message and we could come off as very detached. So there's, there's a, I'm saying we as if this is my pile. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's get more messages. Bluebell, gratitude. Yeah, this person is going to want to know whether they are welcome or not. And if you come off as distant or aloof, that may sort of make this process longer, whatever these messages are that are coming in. So these could be actual messages or they could be spiritual messages. But the, the the braid and drawing things in, I I take that to be the 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 things that we use to ground, that we're um, that we could be reaching for that a little too much. Lenten rose protection, conserve what you have, save a little. I feel like a lot. There's a lot going on, whether energetically, like this may be under the surface or it may be above the surface. There's a lot going on for you today. You're in need of this like protective energy, but you are also like, it's almost protecting the ability to daydream or protecting your dreams. Um, not overly grounding. Pile number two, you have a lot of messages coming in. I'm going to leave you there. However, um, if you would like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And yeah, good luck today. I'm interested to see what tomorrow brings. Okay. And pile number three, welcome to your reading. Let's take a look at your oracle message for today. 
Wow, very consistent messages across all the piles. Um, today is a day ruled by the moon. Um, today is a day that is ruled by the shadow part of yourself or the reflective part of yourself. How do you reflect others? Um, this could be a day where you or others project a lot. So when you're having a thought, um, ask yourself, is this true or am I projecting it? And same goes for um, vice versa. You know, is what this person's saying, is it true or is it a projection? There's a lot to do here with balance, with... Um, with the scales, um, I'm I'm sensing that things currently are not fair. Or if you were to you know put something on it, it would you would say that it's not fair, um, and that it feels like you could tip over the edge at any time. Um, remember that today is just a day, and that. Um, there are stars in the sky, there's hope, you know, and you are approaching, you are approaching a message or a communication. It may not be today. I don't feel like it's today for you, but there's a communication that's going to come in. It's going to change a lot of what you're going through today. So there's information you don't yet have that you will have. Um, so to be patient, to be kind to yourself, to stay on in balance. And I'm just looking in the book for moon dance. Daring, balance, easiness, adventure, perspective. Look at the girl balancing on a rope, waltzing with the moon. She is dancing through life. To be this confident is a gift. You should be aware of the treasure. Be brave and adventurous. Get out of your comfort zone and let, and see life from a different perspective. If you maintain a balance between levity and lightheartedness, you can stay above the everyday noise that threatens to bring us down. Feel the night breeze in your hair and adventure in your soul. Mm, yeah, I feel like you're going to be very sensitive today. So sensitive to... I, anything and all the things that your senses can be sensitive to and um, to enjoy that so to really surround yourself in things that are going to make your senses feel happy oh geez okay we had a we have a card popping out it wants to be with you it wants to share its message with you everlasting daisy fortitude be brave and dig deep and this is the shadowy part, but I also think that this is something, um, the bravery, bravery, the bravery to me here feels more to do with like emotions and your own thoughts. Cactus flower endurance. I hold on or <laughs> I hold on. Well, I guess you could say that I hold on. <laughs> I can do this. Hold on. You can do this. Yeah, so there's just a little bit longer. There's just a little bit more. Whatever you're going through, it will it will work out, okay? Um, or whatever information, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> whatever information you need is going to come in soon. All right, so that's where I'm going to leave you. Thank you so much for joining. If you want to book a personal reading, my information is down below. Take care.